Hey guys, how's it going? We're just hanging out in the backyard right now and enjoying the sun a little bit. So, on the last episode we talked about uh, having hard conversations and how having hard conversations is hard and, and there's a lot to it to get it right. Um, you need to manage your emotions. There's like different approaches to how you want to have the conversation. You want to make sure that you don't offend the other person and stay respectful. Um, and so we've been thinking about this a little bit. We, we ourselves, um, when we talk about this, it might sound like we've like all figured it out and we, we know what we're talking about and stuff like that. But in reality, we're struggling with that just as much as anybody else. We just today had an argument um, that went totally south in terms of having hard conversations. We were trying to, to uh, stick to all our points and, and make sure that we're, we're approaching it the right way. And we're not you know, pointing fingers or, well, you do this or you do that, bringing up old things or tangents off to topics that aren't even related to what you're currently talking about. And it all just kind of imploded. Right. So, um, and you know, when we, when we talk about those things, um, we, we put thought into them and, and we uh, do our best to, to represent like how in theory things should go. But in practice, we all know that like things never go exactly the way that you intend them to. It's easier said than done. You know, exactly. It's hard. It's, it's, it's honestly, I think about it as a skill that you have to practice, um, mm -hmm. and improve on. I don't know. I mean, I guess depending on your childhood and how you grew up, maybe you're awesome at it. Um, but some of us really struggle with certain aspects of, of having arguments and um, these types of discussions. And really the only way to, to get better at it is to continue to try and make an effort. Um, and yeah. uh, I guess don't get too upset with yourself if it doesn't always work out. Exactly. And don't give up in the <laughs> end, right? And another example, I think, um, that, we, that we talked about earlier is we had our episode about um, uh, enabling children to be successful in life with technology. And one thing that we talked about was like restricting and limiting you know, screen time. Um, and so we, we very recently had to kind of very significantly revisit our own screen time management at home with, with our daughter. Um, she was... Uh, she was exhibiting uh, addictive behaviors. <laughs> Yeah, when she it was. came to screen time and tablet use. She it had. Like, a, sorry. Go ahead. It was like she was incapable of entertaining herself in any other fashion if it didn't involve a screen. And it got to the point where we realized that we had to change. We had to change something. There was something yeah. we had to do here because. So, yeah. So we completely. Uh, she, she does not get to use the tablet at all anymore during the week. She gets in half an hour on the weekends, I yeah. think it is, weekend days. She has the opportunity to yeah. buy time using her chore points. Um, she can buy 30 minutes, uh, up to 30 minutes per day um, for five chore points, yeah. which means like she has to do she like five different chores yeah. to, to get 30 minutes. Um, and uh, we also restricted her TV time. She uh -huh. only gets to watch TV the last hour of the night. Um, right. And the point again here is that, you know, we, we established this plan and we felt like going into it that it was a really well-structured uh, plan. And then once we actually put that plan into play, realized that it actually wasn't working out the way that we intended, which, again, you just have to kind of stop and, and iterate and figure out what works. Um, the point being really with with all of this is that we we put a lot of research and thought uh, into the things that we talk about as far as providing guidance um, but that doesn't mean that we get it right all the time um, and I personally find value in hearing from the people that I follow or listen to um, when they can admit that they don't always get it right and I think the most important lesson is in the end right that there's, there has, there's no expectation to, to always get it right. Like, not for us, not for you guys, not for anybody. Um, have a plan and stick to the plan as much as possible, but if things go different than expected, then adjust and, and try, and, and try to, to, to fix it and improve. 
So, you know, all that being said, uh, if you haven't listened to or, or watched our latest episode on how to have uh, difficult conversations, uh, you know, check it out, uh, click on the link and um, join us next week where we're going to talk about uh, the desire to quit your job, um, the reasons why and um, the consequences of making rash decisions when it comes to work. <laughs> awesome. See you guys. Right, Thank you.